Today's task is to create a simple network using hub and switch. In order to do that, we'll drag and drop a switch and a hub to the simulation window. So let's drag switch and now a hub. Now after it has been dragged, we can see that it has number of ports like we can see it for hubs as well as switch there's also a zoom in option so number of ports are there now we'll be using these ports to connect the hub and switch so let's take a copper crossover and connect the hub and the switch now we'll add end devices so let's take end devices at both sides. Let's take maybe two PCs and one laptop on this side. And let's take two laptops and a PC on the other side. Let's connect it using the copper straight through wires. Now we'll be using fast ethernet connection. So let's connect it for port 1 for the first one. For the second system let's use the port 2 of the hub. And for the third system let's use port 3 of the hub. Now let's connect the systems to the switch on the other side. So let's do it for all three of them. Fast Ethernet. So now all the systems have been connected. And you can see the green lights. Now let's try to name the gateway so let's name it give an address to the gateway which is 10.0.0.0 and uh, we'll try to copy it so that we'll configure the individual systems now IP configuration so the IP address would be like 10.0.0.1 because all these addresses will be used will be using the same gateway 10.0.0.0 the IP addresses will differ from 1 to 6 so let's have the second one gateway would be same let's have the second IP address for the second system same gateway but this time IP address would be 10.0.0.3 now let's have it for the fourth system so all three on this side is okay now let's configure IP for the other side so same gateway the IP address will be now 10.0.0.4 do it for the fifth one so we have same gateway but 10.0.0.5 and the last one same gateway but 10.0.0.6 is the IP address of the last sixth system so now we have configured all the IP addresses on both the sides. So this network is working properly now. Let's try to check it using the message. So let's click the message and try to deliver it from laptop to PC. It's successful. Do it again from laptop to laptop. 
Once again, you can say it's successful. Let's do it on the other side. PC to PC, successful. You can see there. PC to laptop is also successful. Now let's do it from this side to that side. From hub to switch, so from PC to laptop, it's successful. Again, from laptop to laptop on the other side, it's successful. Then PC2 to PC1 on the other side, it's again successful. So now we can say that this gateway 10.0.0.0 is working properly with all the systems communicating with each other.